Okay, a pie chart. Um, so I've got some data here. How to make a pie chart? Somewhat tricky, but we'll go ahead. I think we can do it. So the first thing is, so I, these are roller coast. The amount of roller coasters in the different continents. So Africa, Asia, Australia, Europe, North America, and uh, I guess I could go ahead and put that there. Okay, so there's roller coasters. The first thing you want to do is have a sum, excuse me, you want a sum of all of this information. So add it all together. So 17 plus 315 plus 22. Oops. Okay, so I cheated a little, went ahead off to the side and added it up. So 1455 if you add all these up. So I double checked my numbers and made sure we were all okay. So there, in the world there are 1,455 roller coasters according to this survey. Now um, the next thing we need to do is we need to add a couple columns to this table. Um, one thing we need to do is get a column for the number of, uh, so we can find out what the percentage is or the ratio of each roller coaster that the total is. So there are 17 out of 1,455 roller coasters in Africa, which is approximately equivalent to 0.012 or 1.2 percent, if you want to convert it to a percent. We don't really need to yet. Well, it'd be good to have it, so we'll put the percent in there. But one thing we do need is the number of degrees in the table. So this is the percent and this is the ratio. So the number of degrees then is you take that 0 0.012 times there's 360 degrees in a circle. So that would be approximately 4.2 degrees. So you notice we're probably making some rounding errors here and there, but we're going to get uh, we're going to uh, get pretty close. The next ratio then is in Asia. There are 315 out of the total 1455, which that would be point zero point two one six, or two or 21.6 degree percent. Whew. Take the point zero two one six times 360, and you get 77.9 degrees. Okay, then just keep filling in as we go. So 22 out of 1455 is 0 0.015 or 1.5 percent, which if you multiply 0 0.015 times 360, you get 5.4 degrees. 413 out of 1455 is uh, point zero point two eight four approximately, which is um, sorry twenty eight point four percent, and I'm trying to uh, look to the next number, which is a hundred and two. If you take it times three sixty, you get a hundred and two point two degrees. Okay, then we go to the North America, which obviously we have a lot of roller coasters here. And so 643 over 1455 is uh, 0.442%, or excuse me, 44.2%, or the ratio 0.442 approximately. And that is an angle measure of 159.1 degree. And then the last one, um, South America, we have 45 out of 1455 which is 0 0.031 with a ratio um, of 3.1 percent. These are all percents. And then a degree angle of 11.1 .1 degrees. Okay. So now you're ready to construct your pie chart. And so here you're going to have to get out a protractor. I do expect you to do these by hand. So let's see if we can't get something constructed. So we'll go to the next page here.
will get us a circle. I need a spot for the center of my circle. I'll put the point here and uh, make our circle. So, oh, let's try to get it to fit in here. There it is. We need a line to start with. And, uh, and we're ready to roll. So just one second while I get the tools rounded up. And before I get too deep into this, I want to go back to my data. Uh, if you add up these degrees, you get 359.9 degrees. So because of my rounding errors, I'm off by a tenth of a degree. For our purposes, that's going to be good enough. If you want 360 degrees, if you can you know, go back through, maybe I had a rounding error, in fact. But uh, we're just going to go with this. So the first step here is we'll get us a... Uh, protractor and uh, we'll, we'll just hopefully get started here Ooh. Ah, there we go so we'll start at uh, zero there and the very first one is uh, seven let's see 4.2 degrees so we'll make us a little mark at 4.2 degrees um, so 4.2 is kind of tough for me to see. Um, right about here. Woo. All right, so there's 4.2 degrees. Oh, here we go. Okay. So there's that one. We made that mark. Then the next one, I wonder. Okay, then the next one is 77.9 degrees. So, yeah, let me pause here so I can rearrange things without using up all my time. Okay, so then I've rearranged this uh, zero now is where I made that 4.2 degree mark. So the next one I need to make is 77.9 degrees. And so, 77.9 degrees you just follow it 70 there's 75 76 77 maybe a little bit more than that this one can't go by half a degree so I'll go ahead and just make a mark just past that so right there okay and we'll rotate back to zero there's zero and we'll find my next one which is Australia at 5.2 degrees. And it's probably good to put the put the big ones together and the little ones together, but um, you get the drift of what I'm doing. So 5.2 degrees. Again, the best I can do is 5 degrees with this thing. So we'll just go just a little bit beyond it here. Okay, so there's 5.2 degrees. Again, move your zero to the next one Oops, right about there and the next one is 102.2 .2 degrees so we'll pull that on around 100 whoa that was too far there's 102 degrees right there okay so I'll make a little mark for that one There's my new zero, and we need uh, 159.1, so 159.1, there's 159, we'll make a little mark for 159.1, like say it's not perfect, but it'll be good enough, and the last one should be 11 degrees approximately. And so if you drag, whoop, I guess I could make this bigger. Boy, that would have been easier to see. So if we start it, so I'm just under, you know, I've got nine degrees left, so I'm off just a little bit. But uh, hopefully that gives you an idea. So now we'll go in and finish these out. Okay. Okay, so I shrank my protractor, got it out of the way. And so you go in here with a ruler, I don't have a ruler on me, um, and draw in your 
lines to each. I guess I could do this. So that it connects to all. About there. I mean, it's not, again, when you have a ruler, it's going to end up a little better. And so there I have my pie chart. And then you just go in and fill in what each of them are. So Africa was 1.2%. So off to the side here, this is Africa. They have 1.2% of the total roller coaster population in the world. Asia has, whoops, excuse me, 216 is Asia. Um, Australia is 5.4%. Uh, so I didn't do so hot. Australia. And then we had, and I usually want to put a 5.2% there, but I ran out of room. Europe is 28.4%. Uh, North America is 44.2%, uh, almost half. And, you know, as you go, you can see that, um, you know, make sure, you know, Europe is 28%. That's a little more than a quarter, and you can see that, almost a third. North America is 44.2%, almost half. And then the last one is South America, which was 3.1%. Um, and here's South America. I already forgot the percentage, 3.1%. So that's pretty rough. Um, if you have Excel, um, this one's like violent drug deal, but you could have done the same thing. And you just click Pi, and there it is. Now this is a different one. This is a, a different set of data, but you do the same thing. This would be you enter your um, categories on A column, enter your numbers in the B column, and uh, there's your chart. And it'll do the same with this violent car or with the roller coaster one. So let me do that one too quick. Okay, that previous data I had it as. Uh, um, you seen that previous data? I actually had everything as percents already. You know that adds up to 100 percent. In this data, here's our original data. So I highlight the whole data, hit the pi, and I you never want these 3D pies because they turn them at an angle, and and then you can misrepresent your data very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the pie chart, and there's the data, which is much nicer than than what I did, obviously. And you can, there's so many things you can change on this. Um, you can add percents, add a chart title, um, and, oops. So, you know, there's a million things we can do here. So, world, worldwide roller coaster. But anyway, this gives you an idea how that it's so much nicer in Excel than, than what you could do by hand. It makes a very nice presentation out of it. But, you know, so there's Excel, but be able to do them by hand, just like you can do them in Excel. So best of luck. Hope this helps. See ya.